Well, the moment has arrived. Welcome indeed to the grandest stage for tennis here on planet Earth, Wimbledon. I'm entering the grounds to get to the center court to watch the quarterfinals of the latest singles tennis. And it's exciting because I am just so excited that finally I am here to watch and view this fantastic event. The queue is never ending, but it's worth doing because you are in Wimbledon. Yeah! So we're queuing up here. There seems to be a very long queue, both ends of the road, to get to the main entrance where you can be given or be checked for the tickets and then your COVID pass to get to the different courts here in Wimbledon. Well, I am headed to the center court and some people have tickets for court one, court number two, and of course the ground pass which are allowed entry. And as you can see, the queue in front of me is just long. But that's the way to do it in this new pandemic and this new time. But really exciting because we are facing a new way to deal with life in this pandemic. Welcome indeed to Wimbledon. It's buzzing in here guys. When you come to Wimbledon, we're just waiting for the sun to totally appear so that we will have a lovely time here. But when you come here and it's your first time to visit this lovely stage and arena of the grandest tennis section here on planet Earth, then you will know that you are coming to a spectacle. And today we are in full capacity because we are going to witness the latest singles quarterfinals here at the centre court and court number one. So it's going to be amazing. But one of the famous traditions here they have at Wimbledon is of course strawberries and cream. You must not miss that because it's one of those famous activities that you have to do while you walk the grounds. And of course there's also Henman Hill at the very end of this, Fred Perry statue and of course Virginia Wade. And most of all, if you have a special ticket like the debentures, you are going to be seated there while you get to view the crowd right here on Centre Court. So it's going to be amazing. But look, despite COVID, it's packed in here. I hope we're not going to spread that madness across the world. Thank you so much for following this adventure. I shall see you in a few moments time. <laughs> well, behind me right now is a statue of Fred Perry. Well, tennis legend and one of the most important tennis sporting heroes here for tennis in the United Kingdom. Fred Perry, totally incredible, right here at the center court. It's gonna be a long queue to get to the strawberries and cream, but here in Wimbledon, the tradition lives on. It's just amazing that we get to get to still do this even this time of pandemic. And it's a sporting week in England, it's because we're also going to have the football tomorrow, and now Wimbledon in full capacity isn't it amazing but i get to try the strawberries and cream which i have so missed last year because there was no wimbledon last year but right now we're going to experience that one more time here in the amazing wimbledon well it's been noted that they serve their famous strawberries here in cardboard boxes just as eight months away to further reduce our use of plastic so now i am just gonna get excited because you know what this particular tradition lives on in here in wimbledon is waiting for me to be served to hit my strawberries and cream in here in there you go my turn hi can i have a strawberries and cream and evian water please thank you Thank you so much, I will. Thank you. Cheers. Sorry. Enjoy. I will. We've got a fair plate of sugar and then spoon and serve here. And then I'll tell you about it, how it tastes like this Wimbledon strawberries and cream. Here we go. I've got so many things inside me, but I'm so excited. In a bit. Well, here you go. In a few minutes, I will be heading into the center court to take my seat and, of course, talk to you about the quarterfinals of the latest single here. But I am in the section where you can have your champagne, catch up with friends. Well, this time it's just going from it's my turn to just let you experience and give you my verdict of the very famous tradition of strawberries and cream right here in Wimbledon. There you go. 
absolutely the same fantastic flavor that I have so missed every time I come here in Wimbledon. So when you come to visit Wimbledon, always try this famous strawberries and cream. Truly the best in the world. Mm. Nothing better than this. <laughs> I'll catch you in a bit. Now I'm about to find the entrance where I need to get to watch the games. A little bit windy again, but isn't it lovely? Some games have started somewhere, but the ground is just packed with people. And there's like madness and reverently the buzz here is incredible. Look at that! People everywhere. The fashion, the style, the tradition. Just exciting. I can't wait. Now, there you go, Southeast Hall. I think that is where I am going to enter to watch the game. Welcome indeed for following this little crazy vlog. I'm lost in translation because you know what? But for the very first time, you go out to see and cover an event like this. It's just amazing. And now I am here to tell you that the games are gonna start in an hour's time. And I'm so excited to take my seat and talk about this wonderful place. The Wimbledon. So here I am, straight through to Gateway 114-115, entering the center court. I, this is the fourth time I'm here at the center court and I'm just so excited. Please can wait anywhere I am. I don't know. I don't know how that is. Hello? Hello. Hello. Oh, four. One more four is the other gate. Okay, other gate thank you. I have the wrong gate. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, about to enter. I hope, oh my god, the roof is closed. And here I am, ladies and gentlemen, at the center court here in Wimbledon. Truly amazing, and the game's about to begin. This ladies' quarter finals. I just want to ask this lady where I'm going to sit. Down to Ian on the left hand side. Thank you so much. I'm on the E, the left hand side. Here I am. I'll be watching the players E. 17. What number is yours? Um, 79 must be down that end. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, just finding my seat here. Thank you, everybody. Sorry. Thank you very much. I'm down the very end. No worries. Well, the very, very <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. This way or that? That the very end one. That's right. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where I am at the Wimbledon and this is my seat here, number 79, to tell you that it's going to be exciting how near I am to look at the games and behind me are the commentators. There you go, waving at us here at Wimbledon, it's really incredible and what a beautiful tradition and when you can see here the centre courts of England is just Magnificent, and I'm so excited. Let the games begin. I just can't wait. Mwah, mwah, mwah. watched a game from Harkax and Daniel Medvedev and it was pretty incredible because you know what the next one will be a first lady single school to final here which will be due at 2.35 with Ons Jabot and of course Arena Sabalenka this is going to be an enthralling match so we're having a break here and I'm just so excited because it's going to be as wonderful as you know 
these two amazing players here that you're seeing on the screen right now will really be giving us something of fight so and trolling and look how clear I am at the court when I sat here and just truly really incredible that you know I get to see where the players serve and it's just one of those fascinating moments that you will never have to forget. I loved it and it says so good. And you know what? I'm also looking at the royal box. Some important people are working in there. And then when you come closer, the entire center court, the roof is on because it's raining outside. But once you get to be here, it's going to be exciting. And I'm just looking forward to the next match that we're going to be watching here. And it's going to be a spectacle indeed. And behind me are, of course, the presenters. They're discussing about how the games run on. And it's incredible. And the spot where I am, just amazing. What beautiful spot indeed to watch Wimbledon 2021. And I'm one of those lucky persons to have been given the chance to purchase tickets to watch the grandest tennis event right here in England and of course in the world. We are just about to welcome the players for the first ladies singles quarterfinal here at the centre court of Wimbledon and it's going to be on Jabot and Arena Sabalenka and I'm so excited about to welcome both of them. Foxing the fox line. Mm. in love. She was trying to throw in variety, but Sabalenka has all the answers today. It's like she got the test early. <laughs> no, that was long. 15 all. so hard to get on top of that backhand Tracy really on, on her tiptoes but she did. She did a great job to keep it deep so that she got the short ball and normally you would go down the line on the approach but she tried to rush Sabalenka on the forehand it worked well we just finished an exciting game right here on the center court between Irina Sabalenka and of course Ange Jabeur and now everyone's going to take a break because as we come back, we're going to be seeing the world number one Ashley Barty play with Alia Tomlinovic right here at the center court. Outside, the rain is horrible, but in here, the buzz of an exciting game is about to begin. See you in a while as we get to welcome world number one Ashley Barty playing very, very soon. Well, right now, Ashley Barty and Alia Tomlinovic are already doing their warm up for the final uh, game tonight here for the um, quarterfinals here in, in the center court. And now we're just about to start. I don't know who's going to win, but both are fantastic players. So there we go. We'll catch you in a bit as we talk more about tennis right here on Jessica Journeys. Now it's going to begin and Alia is going to serve right here in the center court. Barty just won the game, world number one prevailed in a wonderful contest in Ireland. So there we go. So such a lovely time here at the center court. Now we're just going to wait for the interview for the lovely Ashley Barty.
having a very special treat because it's raining outside. So this doubles third round is going to happen here with, of course, the young sensation Coco Goff and Katie McNally from America playing the specialists um, Elena, Elena Vesnina and Veronica Godermitova of Russia. Russia and USA in this doubles third round here at the Senator Court. Truly a treat. We're not supposed to watch this game because it's raining outside and the roof is still on. So we managed to play a game right here at the Senator Court. We're listening to the sound of the falling rain heavily and on the roof of the game is going on. Welcome to Wimbledon. Wimbledon is the oldest tennis tournament in the world and is widely regarded as the most prestigious. It has been held at the All England Club in Wimbledon since 1877 and is played on outdoor grass courts with a retractable roof over two courts since 2009. Wimbledon is one of the four Grand Slam tennis tournaments, the others being the Australian Open, the French Open and the US Open. Wimbledon is the only major still played on grass, which is the traditional tennis playing surface. The tournament traditionally took place over two weeks in late June and early July, starting on the last Monday in June and culminating with the ladies and gentlemen's singles finals, scheduled for the Saturday and Sunday at the end of the second week. However, changes to the tennis calendar in 2015 have seen the event move back by a week to begin in early July. Five major events are held each year with additional junior and invitational competitions also taking place. Wimbledon traditions include a strict all-white dress code for competitors and royal patronage. Strawberries and cream are traditionally consumed at the tournament. The tournament is also notable for the absence of sponsor advertising around the courts, with the exception of Rolex, which provides timekeeping technology during matches. IBM, Oppo, Slazenger, and Robinson's Bali Water. In 2009, Wimbledon Centre Court was fitted with a retractable roof which I managed to come and join the celebrations to lessen the loss of playing time due to rain. A roof was operational over number one courts from 2019 when a number of other improvements were made including adding cushion seating, a table and 10 independently operable cameras per court to capture the games. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the 2020 championships were cancelled and this is the first time that it's been brought back this year. And that's why you get to see here, in this particular image, the view from the Henman Hill. Indeed, Wimbledon is a tradition and the grandest tennis ground to play and enjoy here in London in, on this wonderful ground in England. Hope you can come and visit this magnificent place and enjoy the grandest, most prestigious tennis ground here on planet Earth. Welcome to Wimbledon. I am so blessed to have seen it this year and to get the center court tickets is just amazing. And to see myself on TV, that is just one of a kind. I can't wait to revisit this next year. I hope it's gonna be sunnier for me to enjoy more games and I walk the outdoors of this amazing and incredible place. So, why don't you come and visit this place and experience the beauty that is called the Wimbledon thing. I am now at the very famous Henman Hill where you get to watch the show live from here. And on this hill, on a very sunny day, this is covered with people watching the shows for those who don't have tickets to the main show courts. But in here, you get a chance to enjoy the shows as well as you get to watch on this wide giant screen what's happening in the show courts in court one and center court. So it's raining today but I just have to go out and show to you how popular this part of Wimbledon is because this is for everyone who can gather your friends and family and, and of course the title of Wimbledon which changes every year up that hill there 
which makes it just totally incredible so let me just take you to the hill actually on a very sunny day this is covered with multitudes of people but no one is here today it's just me trying to go up I hope I don't slip but here we go the championships welcome to foggy ground here in Wimbledon 2021 So here I am. It's been a fantastic time. The rain has never left Wimbledon this year or this particular time. But I really had a lovely time going into the center court to take my journey home. But thank you so much for following this little adventure here in the lovely Wimbledon at the center court where I watched all the games. And I hope you join me again next year when I get to visit Wimbledon once more. From Jess the Cat, thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed this little feature about the fantastic place called Wimbledon. Until then, bye!